Hello, this is Assetto, the Forerunner Pony, in uh, also known as FHRC Brony, and today I am not at my house in San Francisco. I'm actually in Los Angeles at the moment, hanging out with family, and uh, today I am actually going to be working on my mom's Mercedes ML320. Uh, this is the exact same car as you guys saw in one of my oldest videos back in 2017, where I did a introduction to the car and also did a little startup and rev if you go through my old videos you'll find it or my playlist that says FHRC cars I believe anyways I'll be changing the spark plugs on this Mercedes ML320 and uh, it actually has two spark plugs per cylinder so I believe it's called a I don't know what the correct term is but so I think it's called a a double ignition system I think don't quote me on that though but I know it has two spark plugs per cylinder the reason why I know that is because I actually worked on another Mercedes before back in college and that one had a V8 and it had two spark plugs per cylinder so that was a 16 had 16 spark plugs this one has a V6 a 3.2 liter V6 hence the name ML320 the 320 meaning 3.2 liters so this one also has two spark plugs a cylinder and that means since this is a v6 it has 12. all right so what i'm going to be doing first is actually go to the passenger side because i like to do the most complicated part first before i actually go to the easier side and this side right here does the spark plugs the spark plugs and the coils is just right there so i'm gonna take this cover off and also get to this intake section uh because this is actually the intake and this part right here is the, is the intake manifold so what i'm gonna do first is actually go to this side first then i'll work on to the easier side so just like on that side it's gonna have six spark plugs on this side and six on this one so 12 in total all right, I'll get started. Okay, so um, so what I did so far is I took the engine cover and took the upper housing of the intake out. So now I'm left with this, this uh, intake tube that goes to the intake manifold. So now I'm actually have access over here to the spark plugs. So from what I've heard on, on other videos is in order to get these spark plugs out, there's actually Oh wow, this car is oily. Has this car been burning oil or something? Or leaking oil? Hmm, I don't know. But anyways, to get to these spark plugs, they're actually held down by these little, co uh, little coil wires over here. All I need to do is, I just need to pull them. This one all the way back there. I don't know how am I gonna get there because there's, this is probably something that I don't wanna pull out. So I'm gonna do my very best to actually fish my way through it. But anyways, there's 12, there's six spark plugs I need to take out over here. So it should be not that difficult to take out. I'm gonna do one spark plug, uh, one spark plug at a time. Okay, so the extension is already onto the spark plug right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ratchet and take it out. So like I said, I'm doing one spark plug at a time so at least I don't confuse myself whenever I try to put this back in. Okay, so I don't know whoever the last time whoever put spark plugs in this car, but don't quote me on this. I think this is probably stock or probably the second spark plug that was in this car. This car only has 200,000 miles, and uh, that first spark plug was kind of difficult to take out, actually. So they probably over torqued this when they were putting these things back in. Hmm. Anyway, so. This is actually a, a platinum spark plug, but I'm actually gonna be upgrading it to an iridium spark plug. So I already gapped them already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and put this thing in and work my way through. Yeah, I'm gonna go find some find myself some anti-seize and stuff like that. I think this car should be using anti-seize. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this spark plug onto the engine and then I'll work my way through. Okay, that first one is out is not out but it's back in now i'm gonna do this second one right here 
it's going to be a little bit hard because this one's all cramped up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to do it off camera. Yeah, whoever did the spark plugs on this car did not do a very, very good job at this thing. In fact, I must say they did a really shitty job at it because they are not, they are, they decided to uh, not torque the damn spark plug to spec. And uh, I really fucking hate that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to do my very best to get this thing out without breaking it because uh, they probably did not put any seats on this thing. Fucking mechanics sometimes. Holy shit, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm already done with this side already. Not that side over there. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to uh, put the intake back on. And then on this side, I might have to take this big box out. Because uh, to get to these spark plugs, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me if I don't take those out. We'll see how it goes. But uh, good thing is that side's already done. Now I'm going to put a lot of my focus on this side. Six more to go, people. Okay. So the intake is back on. Got the connection back on. So we're all good on that side. And now ultimate test this side right here so i'm gonna go figure out how am i going to take this box out hmm. we'll see i'll figure it out myself first i need to clean up my space over here okay i got the first one out it looks like i don't have to take this thing out but we'll see so what i'm gonna do is take that spark plug out over there and we'll go from there Okay, for those who think I'm exaggerating that the spark plug is in there really tight, I mean it's really tight. Look at this. That's in there really freaking tight. And it also made my uh, ratchet go switch the other direction. Yeah, whoever worked on this car is an idiot. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to tighten spark plugs that tight. Okay, I pretty much completed the job. Let's see how, how it turns on. I don't hear any misfire. running smoothly all 12 spark plugs change Woo! what a workout all right what I'm gonna do now is put the engine cover back on so while the engine is you know doing its thing just getting it warmed up I decided to put my scan tool on it and as you can see it says no diagnostics no trouble codes here so this car is pretty safe from the check engine light all right looks like we're good <laughs> 